um, ceremony has always been very teacher driven. Teachers have decided on the songs that they're going to sing. Um, teachers have decided what awards are going to be given and just the, the general events that are going to happen during the ceremony. We realized that it was very teacher oriented and students didn't have any ownership of this ceremony. We wanted to empower them and allow them to celebrate the end of their learning journey in the lower school. This year we decided to walk the kids through a design thinking process to plan their ceremony. The challenge was that the teachers told us that we were going to be planning our moving up ceremony and that it had to be memorable and special. Well, we interviewed people of different age about how their graduation and moving up ceremony, how it was emotional to them. We interviewed teachers, sixth graders, principals, high schoolers. After the interviews, we looked through the answers the people gave us. And we saw really what popped out and what we liked and what people really didn't like. So we could change things, make them better, or just keep them that way. What really surprised me was that people really didn't like the food. The pattern was like the speeches were really long and that they liked to get onto the awards. But what people really liked were the awards and like, you know, getting recognized. During the brainstorm, we tried to come up with as many ideas as possible for our ceremony. Any idea was accepted during this process, no matter how wild. After categorizing our ideas, long shot, meaningful, sweet, and rational. We removed the long shot ideas and took a closer look at the other three categories. After we brainstormed, we created prototypes. Um, by drawing on posters and um, doing rough drafts. In my group, we had a picture of a table with refreshments and candy um, and a band playing. We had formal clothing. One time, our group with our prototype went up to the front of the class and we presented our prototype. And then the other groups would give positive points about our prototype and things they liked and also points to improve on. And then another time, um, when we were down in the studio, our prototypes were passed around and the other groups would put white on post-its and stick it to our prototype what they liked, a question and a thing to improve on. After presenting our prototypes, uh, we made a, we received feedback and so we had to make changes. For example, in my group, uh, we had to change the talent show because it would take too long. So we decided to make shorter events and make them more memorable. So the prototypes were ready, we presented each prototype to the whole fifth grade. After that, we had some time to vote on the prototype that we wanted to see during the graduation. Then, there was five chosen, and then the five that were chosen went to the committee uh, for the next step. The committee was formed by first the people who wanted to be in the committee emailed the teachers, and the teachers put their names in a cup. And they picked them out like it was like a lot. First, the uh, committee broke up into smaller groups about different specific things during the ceremony. And then they each made to-do lists. And then they communicated with the rest of the grade and the parents. We took everyone's ideas into account and then voted when needed. We started first with the formal part of the ceremony which included the program, the awards, the song we were going to sing, Portiki's part, and the entrance and exit. And the second part we're starting now, which is the party after the ceremony, which is the food, the drinks, the game room, the balada. So what we need left of completing is making the decorations and putting them up. We also need the program. One of them needs to make the small. 
rehearsing the script. to see the kids take some uh, responsibility for designing their their ceremony. There was a, a, a small change, but also a small change in the way the students received the ceremony, the way they're behaving and talking about the ceremony because they really were in charge of designing it and creating it. Why is Ted closer?